The Brady Bunch is one of the most classic TV shows in American history. As we all know, it follows the large, blended family of the Bradys, which consists of parents Mike and Carol and their many children, Greg, Marsha, Peter, Jan, Bobby, and Cindy. The premise of such a large family inspired all sorts of shenanigans on screen, and was a perfect blend of wholesome and ridiculous. The show was created by Sherwood Schwartz, who was also the genius behind the classic sitcom Gilligan's Island. The Brady Bunch first aired September 26, 1969, and ran for five seasons until it eventually ended March 8, 1974. While it's considered a staple of classic American TV today and is extremely popular in syndication, it wasn't always so popular. In fact, during its original run, The Brady Bunch was outshined by shows like Here's Lucy and Gunsmoke. It wasn't until it entered syndication that people really began to appreciate the show for what it was. Today, people all over the country still enjoy watching reruns of The Brady Bunch, and it's even considered a cultural icon. The classic intro sequence and theme song is well known, even amongst children who weren't even dreamed of at the time of the show. After producers realized how popular the show became after entering syndication, they decided to make more shows based around the same premise. It inspired a large number of spin-offs, including The Brady Brides, The Brady Brunch Hour, and even a few made-for-TV movies. Today, one of the reasons The Brady Bunch has remained so popular is that it's widely considered to be the very last of the classic old-style sitcoms. But as you'll soon find out, there was a lot more going on behind the scenes, and not all of it was as pure as what aired on TV. In today's video, we're going to look at eight dark scandals the cast of The Brady Bunch tried their hardest to cover up because they knew it would ruin the reputation of the show. Barry Williams filmed one episode under the influence. Like a lot of teens growing up, Barry Williams experimented with drugs. In most cases, he made sure to keep his personal and professional life very separate. He only used marijuana when he didn't have to work, because he knew it could affect his performance, and he could even get in trouble. One day, while getting high with some friends, however, Williams received a call telling him he had to show up for some last-minute filming. He announced that he truly regrets filming an episode high, but the results were quite hilarious. In the episode Law and Disorder, which aired in 1973, you can certainly see that the marijuana had quite an effect on his performance. From then on, Williams was a lot more careful about when he used illegal substances. Robert Reed was secretly gay. On TV, Robert Reed portrayed Mike Brady, the perfect father and husband to a beautiful family. In real life, however, he was different. He was secretly gay and was terrified that if his sexuality was revealed, it would ruin his career. As a result, Reed was often described as being a rather angry, sad, and frustrated man. Having to hide such an integral part of his identity was very difficult, and he was constantly filled with anxiety. A few of the actors on the show were very aware of his sexuality, but out of respect, never brought it up. Many of the actors have since explained they were partially glad his sexuality was never revealed during the time the show was on air. Homosexuality was considered very taboo at the time, and had he been publicly out as gay, it's likely most of the public would have avoided the show. Florence Henderson was notorious for her sense of humor. On screen, Florence played the rather sterile role of Carol Brady, a classic motherly figure. In real life, however, Henderson had a penchant for making rather risque jokes, which could have ruined the audience member's view of her character. Whenever she met fans of the show, she was sure to act as much like Carol Brady as she could. Behind the scenes, however, she was very fun-loving and had no qualms making dirty jokes. Cindy and Bobby used to make out. Cindy and Bobby may have been siblings on The Brady Bunch, but in real life, the actors behind those characters had a different relationship. Susan Olsen and Mike Lookinland, who played Cindy and Bobby, were quite young when the show aired, but they felt the spark of young love. In one exclusive interview, Olsen herself admitted she and Lookinland would hide in the doghouse and make out whenever cameras weren't rolling. While many of the cast members got along too well behind the scenes, not everyone had such a harmonious relationship. Stick around until the end, because we're going to reveal why Robert Reed quit from the series finale of the show. And if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to Facts First for more. Barry Williams and Florence Henderson went on a date. Florence Henderson became the subject of a major scandal when word got out she had taken Barry Williams on a date when he was 16 and she was 36, as well as married with children. However, the entire affair wasn't actually an affair at all. Barry Williams had really looked up to Henderson and wanted to spend time with her. While he may have had some romantic feelings for the older woman, Henderson had no such intent. 
She had a fun time eating dinner with him, but nothing happened outside of that meal. And she later explained in an interview she was simply humoring him. Sadly, when the tabloids got a hold of the fact she had eaten dinner with her young co-star, her reputation took a huge hit. Maureen McCormick turned to a life of addiction. Maureen McCormick was incredibly young while filming The Brady Bunch, but portraying such a perfect and sweet character like Marsha Brady filled her with a lot of worries and insecurities. As a result, after the show wrapped, McCormick began using drugs to deal with her depression. She went to parties at the Playboy Mansion and became even more addicted to cocaine and various other drugs. It wasn't until the mid-80s that she finally came out of her drug-induced haze and got some help. After cleaning up her act, McCormick wrote a very personal memoir detailing her struggles with depression and drug abuse. Barry Williams and Maureen McCormick dated Even though Barry Williams and Maureen McCormick played brother and sister, Greg and Marsha, on The Brady Bunch, they actually had a romantic relationship behind the scenes. The two were very close in age and spent a lot of time together filming, so it's only natural they developed feelings. The first time the two kissed, McCormick couldn't help but think to herself, oh my god, I'm kissing my brother, what am I doing? Eventually, the two broke up, but the charming relationship between the two young lovers remained a juicy bit of gossip behind the scenes for a long time. Why Robert Reed Refused to Film the Last Episode Reed was a classically trained actor who was especially known for his work in Shakespeare. As a result, he had a very different idea of what constituted good comedy than the creator and producer of the show, Sherwood Schwartz. Throughout the show, Reed was unamused by many of the show's gags and constantly tried to get more serious storylines to air. Of course, what was popular at the time was silly, lighthearted fun, and his ideas didn't usually go over well. These constant clashes with Schwartz finally came to a head during the series finale. Much of the plot revolves around Greg being about to graduate from high school and accidentally getting his hair dyed orange as a result of a prank. Robert Reed felt the storyline too cheesy and demanded it be rewritten. He threatened to refuse to show up for the finale, and the producer instead divided up all his written lines between the other characters. An infuriated Reed made no appearance on the iconic show's finale. Now it's time to hear from you. Were you more surprised to learn Robert Reed was a closeted homosexual or that he quit the series finale because he didn't like the writing? Let us know in the comments below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.